Yes. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Good morning. Happy Thursday. We are one step closer to Friday, you guys. Hang in there. Um, today I have a super special video. We have a DIY project. It's a Target Dollar Spot DIY project and I'm super excited about it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is I got these really cute, they're wooden witches hats from Target Dollar Spot this year. They're $5 and they already have a hook on the back, which is perfect for this project. We're going to be making bow holders, witches hat bow holders, and they're going to have yarn hair so they can hold your little hair bows. And I thought it was a really cute, unique idea. I haven't seen anybody do it yet and my kids love to have their accessories out on display so that they know what they're wearing the next day so i thought this would be perfect for them because i did buy them some halloween bows this year that they're going to be playing with so what like i said what you're going to need is a witch's hat or if you can't find these from the target dollar spot they're at the dollar tree and even the 99 cent store they have like felt witch's hats already pre-cut out you can use those they'll be a lot smaller but they'll still work they'll hold a couple of bows or you can even get some foam board or some hard cardboard and paint it or anything like that like maybe like a, a harder felt and you can just trace out your own witch's hat that'll work too then you're gonna need some yarn of your choice um, I think I'm gonna leave one of the witch's hats black for Delilah's room which is the eight-year-old and then I think I'm gonna paint this hat golden to match my other daughter's room she's three her name is Layla um, she more has like a shabby chic vibe in her room and the other one has more of a, well, she has like cheetah print in her room, but it'll, I think it'll go better with her decorations because her decorations are still going to be some black, mostly teal and gold. This one's going to be mostly gold, pink and white and maybe like some pastel colors. So this one's going to be painted gold. So you're going to need some gold spray paint for that, or you can leave it, you can paint it, you can do whatever you want. You can have little accessories to put on there. Maybe if you want to decorate the hat when you're done, like a little bow right here, I think that would be really cute. Or even like a flower on the side would be really cute. But you're going to need either hot glue or a staple gun. A staple gun would be good because it is a thicker board. You can staple it in. It might be easier and you won't burn your fingers off. That's what I'm planning on doing. So we shall see. So super easy very inexpensive, inexpensive project. It'll not take very long. So here we go. See how it turned out. Actually, I really like the gold. I like the gold a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, and that was just with one coat of spray paint. So we're just gonna let that dry and go work on the other one for now. Okay, just kidding. My daughter just said that she did not want this black. She wants it teal to match her room better too. So now moving on to painting this teal. Not black, teal. On a side note, I did it on like a piece of like white leather that was like scrap like fabric that I had. And the witch's hat looks so cute with the gold around it. I don't wanna ruin it, but Oh well, put this guy down, right there, teal. All spray painted now we just gotta wait for that one to dry happy yeah. yeah spoiled looks good back to the gold one it's already dry I just did it right before I did the teal one and it's dry I think it's because it's wood maybe it absorbed it I don't know but while the teal one is drying now we're gonna work on the gold one so here we go So this is the gold one. This is Layla's. It's gonna go in Layla's room. Layla has shorter hair than Delilah does. Delilah has longer hair. And we are just going to turn around. 
and you can either hot glue it I'm gonna do short pieces on this one you can either hot glue it or you can staple it I'm gonna try to staple it see how that works for me so let's see it doesn't have to be perfect this is the back Here, I think I'm gonna try to do a couple of them Hi, Hi honey Ooh, I like your hair. It is so pretty. Yay, it worked! Let's see? So let's see if I'm going to do that all the way around. Let's just get a couple pieces. I'm going to stick it right next to it. Try not to get your fingers. All right, and just do that all the way through. Okay, as you can see, it's all done. It's all pretty. I'm going to cut it because, like I said, my daughter's hair is shorter one's hair is longer so I am gonna cut it you can leave it this length though it does look cute just like this if you can see it I do like it like that but I think I am gonna cut it just so it fits their personality a little bit better detailing and then these pearls now I feel like it just looks a little more shabby chic so cute I really love the way this one turned out that mermaid bow is my favorite so cute so now let's work on the next one okay now time for Delilah's Delilah has a teal one it was gonna be black she switched it she wanted teal luckily I had teal spray paint on hand Spoiled, spoiled kids. We have, I don't know if you can tell, I already pre-cut the yarn. Hers is rainbow. It's not really coming out very rainbowy on camera. It's coming out more of like a grayish color, but it's very like pastel rainbow colors. That's the one she chose. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to turn this over. We are going to staple it. And hers is gonna be longer hair. Layla's was the pink one in gold. She did shorter hair because her hair's shorter and Delilah's hair is a lot longer, so she wanted longer hair, so her witch would look a little more like her. So here we go. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it. I have it here on my couch. I braided one side because it was so long. I'm thinking I'm gonna braid have them in pigtails. I don't know, I'm gonna to ask my daughter, but I think it's really cute this way, so we'll see what she says. Okay, so I tried to put a ring light on it so you can hopefully see the color a little bit better. It is like a pastel rainbow color. It's really pretty. It's coming out kind of funky in this light, but so far, so cute. Just braided her hair. She's so cute. Can you see the color better? No, yes. I want to put some bows at the end, decorate the hat a little bit more, and show you guys when she's done.
pod. I listened to Delilah and let her pick out her own color. It's coming out such a dark teal in this light, but it's it's like a it's like a, a rusty teal color. It's really pretty, and I like that you can still see the wood through it with the pearls and the flowers. This was just one of her old clothes. That's why it is a little dirty. Some little daisies just to give it more of like a good little witch theme. I like that we braided it, gave her little pigtails at the end. My daughter actually wears pigtails often. So super her, super cute. Love the way it turned out. Here they are side by side. I love that this one's more like a glamorous, like girly witch. And this one's more of just like a simple and sweet witch. I wish the camera was picking it up a little bit better. It's so like rainbow and colorful and sweet with the rusty teal color and the good witch vibes versus the glam witch vibes. I just love them both in different ways so much. So again, thank you guys so much for being on this little Halloween journey with me. I am doing a Halloween series right now. I definitely just love these witches hats when I saw them at the Target dollar spot. I knew that I wanted to do a witches hair bow holder type of thing and I thought those were perfect for it, especially since they already have the holders in the back. I really like them a lot so if you see them pick them up, do this DIY with me, let me know what you think, let me know if it was as simple as I try to make it seem. I tried to do it step by step. Um, if you have any questions go ahead and leave me a comment below. If you like this video also leave me a comment below. I would like to know if you guys actually like these types of videos, if you want me to do more of these type of videos. I definitely have a lot more ideas and a lot more things to come with my Halloween series, so let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps out my channel a lot. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you decide to stay and join my little one penny at a time family. And thank you guys so much for watching. One last look. Oh, that one's my favorite. I like that one so much. This one's cute too, but definitely loving the gold and the pink. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.